having an organized and decluttered workspace can really help you when it comes to putting things away. Now, without a home for every single one of your items, decision fatigue settles in, and when you're coming up to the end of putting that last thing away, it can become difficult on deciding where you wanna put it. Now, with this guide, I'm hoping to give you a sense of direction on how you can start, build a foundation, and maintain your workspace organized. Now, before we can start organizing your whole workspace, you first need to really think about what are you using daily and what don't you really need to have on your desk. And for that, we need to audit your workflow. Auditing your workflow can really help you out because you can go ahead and take time out of a day or a week and start looking through all of the things you have out on your desk or around your desk on surrounding shelves and really audit what do you use daily, what do you use every other day, and what do you use rarely. One thing that helped me out when I started doing this was to get a journal and every day of the week write down a few items that you are using on that day. Now at the end of the week, you can go ahead and take a look, look through your journal and you will see what are the items that you are using daily, what are some items that you are using every other day, and what are items that are on your desk but you just didn't use that week. You're gonna be surprised to see that there are a lot of items out that you really don't use and they're just taking up space, cluttering up your workspace, and really these become a lot of times distractions from getting your work done. Now for this reason, a big part of decluttering and organizing your workspace is to only keep what you need. Now keeping only what you need might be the most difficult part of organizing and picking up because there's a lot of sentimental value, you have a lot of these things out for just in case you're going to need them. Unfortunately, keeping things out just in case really can clutter up your workspace. Those things are rarely used. All I can think of or I guess the best image in my head is is having those parents that keep everything in the garage they fill it all the way up just in case they need it someday now if you remember your parents doing that or if you have friends now that do that as well you're going to realize that keeping everything just in case you're going to need it just means cluttering up your space keeping it for a really long time only to never use it remember when picking up to be reasonable this doesn't mean trash everything you're not using Look through the things and see if they have any value to you. And worst case scenario, if you need to get rid of it, remember that trashing it isn't the only option. You can always donate or try and sell your things. Now, if you do own a lot of tech, the best option would probably be to try and resell it or hand it down to a family member. That way people can still get use out of it. And if you end up selling it, you can get some value back. Now, the other option for those things that you do wanna keep, if you don't wanna keep them out on your desk, you can place them in a closet or under the bed, but again, be reasonable. Don't overuse this other option because sometimes you can just start stuffing things under the bed, in a closet, or in the garage. Now, decluttering is probably the biggest part of this, like I mentioned. This will help you get rid of a lot of things that are on your desk that you don't really use. Now, after you're done with everything, the next step to do is to build a system. Building a system is the last step of decluttering. Once you have found out exactly what things you need to keep out, you need to build a system about where you wanna keep things around your desk or in your home office. Now, a simple system that I have used that might help you is to keep on my desk itself, the desktop, everything that I use daily, that way it's within reach. I can always have access to it whenever I need it. And then the next thing is that things that I use every other day or multiple times throughout the week, but not really daily. I keep them on the side shelves that I have from Ikea, as well as my Scatis pegboard, also from Ikea. And I just keep them there. That way they're still within reach. They're still within my home office space and I have easy access to them. The third place where I put things is in the closet. And this is where I keep things that I use once a week, usually on the weekends, I keep all my photography props. I also keep my photo and video lighting, like the ones I have here. I keep those in the closet. I use them once a week, usually on the weekends, and then they're out of the way and they're also not cluttering my workspace. And the last part of my system is keeping things under the bed. Now this is for things that I use once a month or every other month. It mostly consists of light bulbs and cables that I don't really need, but if I ever need an extra one or if the ones I use rip or break, I can go ahead and go under the bed and have easy access to them. Now, if you are gonna be putting things away in closets or under the bed where it's difficult to take things out, make sure you label your boxes, whether it's with a marker or with an actual label. 
because later on when you go down there and you're trying to look for something, it's gonna help you out a lot knowing exactly what you're pulling out rather than pulling out every single bin and then dumping everything out only to not find your item and find out it's somewhere else. One more bonus tip that I have for you is to always keep a junk bin or a junk drawer in your desk or somewhere in your home office so that whenever you get accessories or you get new little tech gadgets and you don't know exactly where to place them, you can always throw them in this drawer or in this bin and you can go ahead and get to it once a week. Now, the main thing is you want to avoid always having to make the decision on the spot of where you wanna put it because sometimes, especially if you're an overthinker, this can take a long time to figure out Hey, is it gonna mess with the system? What if I put it here? Is that really how much I use it or I'm going to use it? So make sure to always have a bin where you can just throw things and be super relaxed, super nonchalant about it. And then you can get to it later and organize it in the right space. Now, once you have a system going, the last thing to do is to maintain this organized workspace. Now, the best thing to do is to have a cleaning schedule or kind of like build a habit of cleaning. I usually do it once at the end of my workday and I go ahead and go around and I clean up and because I know exactly where everything goes, this always takes me less than five minutes. Now cleaning up at the end of the day is really helpful for me because the next day when I come back into work, into the home office, it's already clean, it's ready for me to go and I don't have to get there and then the first thing I need to do is pick up. Remember to lean on the junk bin or junk drawer whenever you are picking up, especially if you're doing it at the end of the night or after a, a day of recording. That way you can go ahead and have a place where you can just throw everything into it and get to picking it up later, but it still keeps your space clean and it keeps it decluttered and organized. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to not miss any of my future uploads and I will catch you on the next one.